Four, grammar. In this grammar lesson, we are learning about full infinitive. Full infinitive is base form of the verb, like a verb like learn. This is the base form. No ing, no s, no ed, nothing. Plus two, to learn. Like what? Like when I say, I work hard to learn English. This is called full infinitive. When I say, I must learn English, there is the base form of the verb, learn, but there is no to. This is called bare infinitive. Now, what I need to learn is when do we add to to the base form and when do we not do that. I do that when I talk about the reason I'm doing something. Why do you work hard? You work hard, why? To learn English. This is the reason why. I am going to the supermarket, why? To buy some milk. I am going to the supermarket to buy some milk, reason. I also add to to the base form of the verb when I use verbs like want. I want to learn English. Or I would like, I would like to learn English. I would love to learn English. I decided to learn English. I plan to learn English in the summer. I promise you to learn English. With all these verbs, we add two to the base form of the verb. We also add two to the base form of the verb when we use this structure. An adjective like happy, good, smart, and the verb be, present or past, like what? Like, I am happy to see you. You come and visit me and I tell you, I am happy to see you. I am happy to watch this video. I am surprised. Surprised adjective, I am surprised to see you. I am very mad to lose the match. I can make it past. I was very mad to lose the match. I can also add to, like you are too young to drive. The verb is drive. You are too young to drive. You need to be older. You need to be 18 years old to drive. I am old enough to drive all right enough talking about adding to to the base form of the verb now we will talk about not adding to to the base form of the verb we don't add to when we have model verb like these can could shall should i didn't put shall because it's not in your textbook but I want you to know that we that we do the same thing with the modal verb shall. Shall, should, will, would, may, might, and must. Now look, it will be easier for you to remember this small table right here. I want you to memorize this small table. And you will never make a mistake adding or not adding to to the base form of the verb. We will try learning them together now. Can and could, shall and should, will and would, may, might and must. Plus, these, these are modal verbs. Beside these modal verbs, we added the two verbs let and make. Like what? Let me go. Not let me to go. Let me go. Let me sleep. Let me eat. I don't add to to the verb, no to. The same thing with make. I will make you do the homework two times instead of one time. If you don't listen to me. I will make you do that. Not I will make you to do that. See, I will make you learn English. No to. I will make you learn. Not I will make you to learn now, today's grammar is very easy. If you only 
memorize this small table. Can, could, shall, should, will, would, may, might, and must. And let and make. Very easy. Now let's try and work on this exercise and I will show you how easy this thing is. I kept this table for you to look at. Now circle the correct words. We have verbs. The first verb with no two. The second verb with two. And we will choose. I am not strong enough open or to open this drawer. What do we have before the verb open? Do we have any of these modal verbs? Do we have let and make? No. Then we will choose to open. Very easy. We have uh, an adjective here and the verb be. I am, I am happy to see you. I am strong to open th this drawer. Could you help me or to help me? Look, we have could. Do you see could? Could. Then help me. Could you help me? Two. They were surprised. See or to see. They were surprised. Do we have any of these verbs? No. Then use two. To see. Darren playing volleyball. It's like it's like I am happy to see you. I am surprised. I was surprised to see Darren. 3. My sister lost my camera, so I made her go or to go. What do we have before the verb? We have, oh, we have made. Made is the past of make, isn't it? Make, present, made, past. So we choose go. I made her go. To the shop, buy or to buy. What do we have before this? We have go. We don't have can, could you. Go to the shop to buy a new one. The sentence now, don't read from here. I want you to read from here. Go to the supermarket to buy some milk. Go to the shop to buy a new camera. Four, I had planned take or to take. Again, no modal verbs, no let, no make, to take. My cousin to the fun fair, but he wasn't old enough, go or to go. What do we have before the verb go? We have the adjective old, old, like I am happy to go. I am old enough to go, to go. On any of the rides, he was very young, he was a baby, he can't go on a roller coaster when he is a child. He needs to be older to get on rides. 5. You must try or to try. Oh, must, look. Must, see must? Must, you must try. Aisha's date cake, it's delicious. I want, use or to use, no modal verb, no modal verbs, no make, no let, to use, the computer, check or to check, alright, now let's read from here, not from here, use the computer, check or to check the weather, to check, we don't have any of these verbs, to check the weather in the map. Now, I hope that I made this grammar lesson easy for you. If you like this video, please share it with other friends. Now, I will leave you with the workbook exercises. Goodbye.